Good day everyone. Today's topic of discussion is the human digestive system. Let's understand that digestion is the process of breaking large food molecules that you eat in its simplest form to be used by your body for growth, energy, and repair in order to live. For instance, you get carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids from the food you eat. But these are macromolecules that need to be broken into micromolecules so your body cells can use it. Carbohydrate is a large molecule. During the process of digestion, carbohydrate enzyme breaks it into sugar, the smallest molecule. This is then absorbed by your body cells, giving you energy. It's like fats and oils are large molecules. During the process of digestion, lipase enzyme breaks it into a smallest molecule called fatty acid and glycerol. Fatty acids are important in your body. If glucose isn't available for energy, your body uses fatty acids to energize or fuel the cell. Likewise, glycerol is used by your body in improving hydration. You get protein from meats, fish, and eggs that you eat. However, protein is a large molecule. During the process of digestion, protein enzyme breaks it into its smallest unit called amino acid. Your body cells uses amino acids for growth and repair of worn out tissues. The digestive system breaks down food in two ways. One is mechanical or physical digestion where food is broken down into pieces, just like when you cut a tomato into pieces. Number two is chemical digestion. During this process, food changes into forms with the help of enzymes. The digestive system is divided into two groups. One is alimentary canal. This is an example of alimentary canal, and it is the passageway of food from entrance to exit of the system. The second one are the accessory organs. These are the liver, the gallbladder, and the pancreas. Accessory organs are not a passageway of food, but aids in the digestion of food. Let us trace the pathway of food in the alimentary canal. First is in the mouth, and the mouth consists of teeth. Teeth are responsible for the mechanical process of digestion through mastication. Mastication is the process of cutting, tearing, and grinding of food and mixing it with saliva. In the mouth, there is also a tongue, and the tongue assists in swallowing the food that we eat. The second part of the alimentary canal is the pharynx. The pharynx is the passageway of food from the mouth to the esophagus. Food in this part is known as bolus. And there are three types of pharynx. One, the nasopharynx. Two, the oropharynx. And three is the laryngopharynx. From the pharynx, the food moves down to the esophagus. Esophagus is a muscular tube where bolus is pushed from the pharynx to the stomach through peristalsis. From the esophagus, the bolus moves down to the stomach through peristalsis. In the stomach, mechanical digestion occurs when peristaltic contractions churns the bolus. If the bolus mixes with the digestive juices, chemical digestion begins. The hydrochloric acid in the stomach breaks down the bolus into a liquid called chyme. Also, a stomach enzyme called pepsin breaks down most of the protein. From the stomach, the food moves down to the small intestine. The small intestine secretes enzymes which digest chyme into its smallest form. It absorbs nutrients from the food you eat. And there are three parts, judenum, jejunum, and ileum. Judenum is the upper, widest, and shortest, about 10 inches long. It breaks down proteins into amino acids. It absorbs some minerals like iron and folate. Jejunum is the middle part and absorbs most of the nutrients. Ilium is the lowest part and is the final part of digestion. It absorbs bile, acids, fluids, and vitamin B12. From the small intestine, the food moves into the large intestine. And large intestine is about 5 feet or 1.5 meters long. 
It absorbs water and salts. It is a passageway of feces. There are two main parts are secum and colon. Secum takes in undigested liquid from the ileum and passes it to colon. Colon reabsorbs water and absorbs salts when needed. Rectum is the final part of the colon. It stores feces before they are emptied through the anus. Study the different accessory organs. The first accessory organ is the liver. Liver is the body's chemical factory. It produces bile that breaks down fats. It detoxifies harmful chemicals to the body. The second one is the gallbladder. It stores bile from the liver and transports it to the duodenum of the small intestine. The third one is the pancreas. It secretes pancreatic enzymes that breaks down carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. It makes insulin that metabolizes sugar in the body. Another accessory organ for digestion is the salivary glands. Salivary glands help break down carbohydrates with salivary amylase and lubricates the passage of food down from the oropharynx to the esophagus of the stomach. There are three types of salivary glands, as you see in the illustration. Number one is the parotid glands. Number two is the submandibular gland. And number three is the sublingual gland. Let us now study the different functions of the digestive system. Number one is to take in food. Number two, digestion of food. Three is the absorption of nutrients. Four is assimilation. Assimilation is the movement of food molecules into the body cells. For example, amino acid is used to build proteins. And number five is the elimination of undigested food. For the let's try part of your module, answer these questions. Number one, which part of the digestive system does chemical digestion of food happen? A. Esophagus B. Large intestine C. Small intestine D. Stomach Number two, which of the following is the primary function of the digestive system? A. Transports oxygen B. Absorption C. Exchange of nutrients D. Production of food Number three, which of the following pairs is correct? A. Liver is to production of bile. B. Pancreas is to storage of bile. C. Gallbladder is to produce insulin. D. Salivary glands is to produce glucagon. Number four. Which of the following explains the process of digestion? A. It is the uptake of nutrients. B. It is the process of taking in food. C. It is the removal of the undigested food. D. It is the physical and chemical breakdown of food into smaller pieces. Number five. What digestive organ is involved in the process of absorption? A. Small intestine. B. Stomach. C. Mouth. Or D. Esophagus. Answer also the let's create part of your module. So your task is flow diagram of the digestive system. So you are going to make a flow diagram to trace the passageway of food from the time it is taken by our body to the time it is removed from our body. You must indicate the parts of the digestive system and its corresponding processes that take place inside them. So you may use this format as your guide. So rubrics for grading, organization of ideas, 10 points, content, 10 points, sequence of events, 10 points, total of 30 points. Answer now your module 1. You may answer in any sheet of clean paper or notebook and submit a screenshot of it to your teacher. Happy answering!